So today's guest, everyone, is a beauty expert, a spin cyclist, a girl boss, and so much more. We actually went to high school together, so it's been a few years since I've seen her face like this, but I'm so excited, and I've seen her flourish from what she wanted to do, and now she became that, so I think it's so amazing. So I'm so excited to introduce Zoe Woodman, so thank you so much for coming on today. <laughs> thank you for having me. I'm so excited. Me too. So a question that I always ask my guests is what is yeah. one thing that defines your lifestyle? I would say one thing that defines my lifestyle is definitely a schedule and structure. I thrive off of having a plan for each and every week. And especially when I, I want to do so many things, I need to write it down. And I feel like it helps me kind of just keep my brain organized. And that's pretty much my lifestyle. <laughs> no, I love it. And honestly, I can agree. Like I have so many planners and notebooks. Like you oh, can see. literally same. They're all, <laughs> yeah. they're all in front of me. Me too. Me too. Oh, I, so if bad. I could move this contraption, I could show you like all my notebooks for each thing, but I think yeah. it's, fun to meet other people like that because some people like think I'm psychotic when I, they see all my notes <laughs> yep no me too it kind of I picture my brain I just write everything down and then I don't have to think about it and it exactly. just keeps me on my a game because I have a list <laughs> I totally agree that's so amazing and I know you're so busy you're so into many different things which we'll get into but can you give us yeah. a little intro about yourself for people who don't know who you are Okay. Okay. So I guess I'll start with my age. I just turned 22 last week. Yes. Happy so birthday. we, thank you. Thank you. We were um, in high school together. And then right after we graduated, I knew I wanted to go right into beauty school. I didn't know exactly what I was going to get out of it. If I wanted to go into makeup or if I wanted to go the hair route, um, I kind of just went into it and just fell in love with color. And while I was in school, I started networking and I met a makeup artist who I started working with the summer I was in beauty school. Um, and if you're not familiar with beauty school, it's an hourly program. So it's 1500 hours straight through. Um, you get one break for summer and one break for winter. So you kind of just, just go, you don't really have any breaks. I think you just kind of go through it and then you evaluate after. So while I was in school, I kind of started networking which we can get into more. That is like the number one thing I will, I will say like till the day I die, networking is how you get where you want to be. Yeah. Um, obviously, you know, there's so many things that go into it, but that's my number one thing. So I met a makeup artist who I then networked throughout her and started working aside her and kind of just got a taste of what it was like to freelance and what it was like to just get into the industry, which was such a great opportunity. And I still work with her today. So that's awesome. And then throughout her, I met the woman I now work with at the salon. So I went through school, I finished up and I remember being like, okay, I love doing freelance makeup. What am I, how can I make that a reality with also a job? Because if you work at a salon, they want you to work throughout them. And I kind of had this dream where I was like, I just want to do my own thing, but yeah. it's very unheard of when you go to school, everyone, you know, you, you go through, you find your first job, you build what you want through there and then you continue. But I was like, I just want to, I just want to do it. So I, um, connected to this woman in Wells, Maine and started working with her right out of beauty school booth renting. Um, she just had a baby. So she kind of like helped me ease my way into it. And then I just started, I literally just jumped right in at the age of 19 being a booth renter. I was like, okay, here we go. So I continued that. And then what, what did you ask me my just myself right yeah yeah yeah. keep okay. going this okay. is perfect, like, this is perfect. Did I, did I miss that? <laughs> no um so yeah so I jumped right in and then I had my first like real full year of working in the salon and in the beauty industry like throughout weddings um that industry as well so they're kind of two separate things I work in the salon doing hair and then I also work outside the salon doing um weddings so I had my first year just kind of figuring it out and then of course last year being my second year we had the pandemic so it was a little different but yep. I've just been building up my clientele and my career and just getting everything to that perfect structure that's a balanced life where I can live my life and have a couple of days off to myself which are so important to me for sure and it's important that I schedule those in because if I don't I won't me too. and I also yeah that's that's one thing I've learned. So yeah, so I pretty much I do a lot of things, but that's, I run a hair business. That's amazing. And no, makeup. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally everything you just said there is what I usually preach on these episodes. Okay. okay. I was like, um, I always wanted to have you on. I, I, I literally had you on my list since day one. Oh my gosh. And I was like, oh, thank I'm you. so excited. But literally when you're talking about networking, balance, taking days off for yourself, like that's what I'm talking about on basically all episodes, but it's so interesting to hear everyone's story and how they got to that balanced place. So did you always know that you wanted to go into beauty and hair, like when you were super young? I love everything that you said about lifestyle and all that. And I was just curious, how did you get into beauty and hair? How young were you when you were like, this is what I want to do? I get this question all the time. And it's so funny because I have no idea. I don't even remember a time where that's not what I wanted to do. Um, I remember probably, I think I was, I was in middle school and I got this like manicure pedicure set. And I remember having like my own little business where my aunts would come over and I would do their (laughs) nails and they would give me like five bucks. And I just remember always wanting to do it. I just wish I could remember when I had a moment where I was like, this is what I'm going to do. It just always was what I wanted. And I think too, at a young age, I was always that friend where you went to her house to get ready before (laughs) dances. And I would do everyone's hair and makeup where I was doing my like friends of friends hair and makeup for any sort of event. So I always just knew, I think it started at a young age. I just loved it, like cutting my doll's hair, just doing everything. So I I don't have a specific time, but I just, I don't know when I didn't. I don't know if I ever didn't want to do it, you know? Yeah, that's amazing. Honestly, I feel like that happens a lot with passionate people when they know what they want to do right out of school. Cause, yeah. um, cause for me, like same thing, I was always like painting my room, designing it, fixing other people's spaces. And it's like always yeah. part of your life, but that's kind of like yeah. cool because if you're searching, if you're listening and you're searching for what you want to do, think about when you were a child, what were you doing to like pass the time and for fun? Like what really gave yeah. you life? Because honestly, that's, what's going to give you life in your twenties and your thirties and beyond. <laughs> it's so true when people are like how'd you know I'm like well what are things you like to do like what is something that makes you happy um and always too when starting businesses and careers people like well that's not going to make money but you make money off of loving what you do because then you're driven and you you work hard for it exactly um because when I went into hair I was like I don't I don't care about what I'll make and that's just at the end of the day I just wanted to do something that I love doing and I remember that at a young age too, I would have my friends come over and be like, can I just give you a makeup? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Can I do your hair and your makeup and we'll just take fun pictures? I don't know. That was just what I did for fun growing up. So it Literally. makes sense. Totally. And you were talking about networking. We could get into that. Yeah. So talk to me about maybe your first networking experience that you were like, oh my gosh, wow, this is how you do it. And this is working. Okay. Um. So I met, it was one of my friend's aunts somebody threw someone I met and they were like, Hey, you should go see so-and-so at this business. And I, can I use specific things or? Yeah. I mean, if it's okay. up to you. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. So, um, this makeup artist that worked at the lash bar in Portsmouth, she's from England. She just moved here. She started this whole business and she's been looking for a makeup assistant and I was getting my lashes done. I thought of you. And I said, I would like connect you guys and you could reach out. So I reached out to her and that was when I was in beauty school. And I was like, Hey, like, this is what I'm up to. This is what I want to do. And I would, I'd love to meet sometimes. So she, we talked on the phone she's like, okay, I have a photo shoot coming up for, I think it was like Isogenics, like one of those, you know, Mm -hmm. different companies and they were having a photo shoot. So she was like, come along and we'll see how it goes. So it's like, okay, no pressure. I'm just going to show up and (laughs) hope this goes well. And we just hit it off. We like loved working inside each other, just really good energy. I feel like that's really important too. Just having a great personality attracts the right kind of people. And we just hit it off. So then I worked with her. So that was the summer I was in beauty school. So I worked with her the full summer, um, the last two summers actually, wow. which has been really cool. And then through her, she had done, since she does lashes, she had done my boss at the time or my boss now her lashes for her wedding. So she was like, maybe you can reach out to her and just see if she's looking for someone. And sure enough, that's where I am now. So it's like, a whole domino effect. It's so cool. Yeah, no, totally. I just kind of did a post on like my 2020 vision board because I'm one of those people I have a vision board. Oh, I love it. Yeah, and I was saying kind of the similar thing. Like as you go through the motions, you don't really realize um, how amazing visualizing your future is until you Mm -hmm. get there. Like, and you're looking back, like what you're talking about now. So that's cool. Yeah, 
oh, at the time I was like, oh, who knows? I could just have a phone call with this woman. Like, yeah, I had no clue. And it is so crazy to look back. Yeah, but. definitely. And you mentioned weddings. So talk to us about oh, weddings. Yeah. How'd you get into that? Um, well, weddings, I would say I got into them with that woman. That's kind of when I first started. I had done a couple before by myself, just through mutual people that I had known yeah. through family. Um, yeah, like a couple of my aunt's co-workers, I had done their wedding. So I didn't have a crazy amount of experience. But like I said, I grew up doing everyone's makeup for events in my family. So I had a little bit of a kit. So basically weddings do do hair and makeup on site. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I do some hair, but I do mostly makeup. And I remember I started doing them with her that summer. Yeah, so weddings, I pretty much will do a trial run. Day of, I'll do about probably six to eight people's makeup. Wow. Um, we bring a ring light. You bring a whole kit, tons of lashes. I have a full suitcase full of I like, love it. tons of makeup. It's so funny because I always tell people I would wake up in like middle school and high school so early and do a full piece of makeup. I would do my hair. Now I like throw on mascara in the car on the way to work <laughs> and throw my hair like in a cute little bun um, and use like very minimal products and I have this huge kit I use for like everyone else it's so funny <laughs> yeah but, uh, you look just as fabulous though like I wouldn't oh, have guessed <laughs> oh, thank you. yeah no honestly though I I love it and when like as little girls I'm sure every little girl has a dream of their future wedding and like I'm sure how oh, you yeah. being there being a part of people's weddings like that's absolutely amazing that you get, get oh, to be a part of that <laughs> there's so many different types of weddings and different things that People, I, and it's great too, because the more you do, the more you know. So I will work weddings and maybe the next bride will be like, hey, make sure you have like someone in charge of this. Like one thing, I guess one thing I always say, make sure for your photographer, you have your rings, your shoes and an invitation because your photographer is going to oh. get there halfway through getting ready. And they're going to say, hey, like whatever the bride is, I need these three things. And then it's like a scavenger hunt for the whole bridal party and get behind. <laughs> yeah. So you just kind of learn as you go. It's like, Weddings are such a happy, like, it's a very exciting environment, but it's also high stress. Yeah. It's a yeah, really, yeah. really important day. Um, but it's so fun to be a part of them. And then, of course, after I'm like, I want this type of dress. Or, I, want I know. Right yeah. Here. Oh, my gosh. So many things. Yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Talk to me about your dream wedding. Oh, gosh. I, okay. I think, well, I feel like my dream wedding, but then... <laughs> who I would be marrying, <laughs> probably Joe. <laughs> Joe, yeah. Um, definitely. So I feel like we have very like, I want to say similar, but opposite styles. He's more of a like backyard. He could just have a campfire. You know yeah. what I mean? And I want this big extravagant thing, but I want them to meet in the middle. Yeah. So I always say I would love a backyard style, um, kind of like a buffet, but at a really nice, like, I don't know, like a really nice inn somewhere up north. Oh, I could picture so kind it of you guys. the the woods, but also being very modern. I don't know. No, I, I get so it. Ideas. I get you it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's kind of like both of our personalities combined where it's casual, but it's also very glam. It's a little, it's a, <laughs> yes, it's a little, yeah, it's a little like glamping, but a wedding. <laughs> like really nice, really nice clean white tents, but yes. like in, in a field with a mountain view Aww. kind of thing, you know? I that love would be, it. Yeah. And this might be a silly question, but like, would you no. do your own hair and makeup? Like, how does oh that gosh. work? <laughs> it's so funny. Um, no, I, I wouldn't. I would have um, the woman I work with with hair and then I would have um, nice. the makeup artist. Jody, probably. <laughs> or I have a couple other really good, good hair friends, but I wouldn't want the stress on my own day. Yeah, I wouldn't either. For even. sure. <laughs> yeah. But it I, is weird. Yeah, definitely. But that's so cool. I, I've known Joe since we literally went to school. Stratford School at kindergarten so it's kind of oh hilarious. my god yeah and I forgot so you guys both went there yeah 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 we kind of grew up together but that's so funny I haven't talked to him in years but you guys are so cute and it's so nice to see couples that last past high school I think it's adorable oh, thank you <laughs>